Finally, last story of today, we're going to talk about Apple, uh, Apple, Apple TV. Uh, so Apple TV added the Vivo application on it uh, yesterday, as far as I know. Uh, so that's a really interesting move. Uh, you know, Vivo uh, is the first music-focused uh, streaming application, even if it's video, uh, that appears on the Apple TV aside from uh, Apple's own iTunes offering. So that's, uh, that's one interesting point. Uh, it's also the only addition to the uh, Apple TV for this week uh, internationally because, uh, of course, the US got the Weather Channel, Disney XD, and the Smithsonian apps, uh, but uh, uh, the Vivo one made it to the UK, Italy, France, Poland, the Netherlands, Brazil, Ireland, Spain, and New Zealand. So it's quite a, quite a broad release. So first of all, you know, what do you make of Apple allowing a third-party music streaming app to come into play? Uh, that's, that's kind of an interesting move, right? Yeah, I think it's a very interesting move. I need to think this one through some more um, yeah. myself, but I think <laughs> it's good. Um, yeah, comments on Twitter to follow. Yeah, uh, yeah no, very interesting. I think it's just all a part of a, of a content strategy that Apple's trying to push through with Apple TV and keep you know winning people over in the living room. Um, I think, you know, obviously music video and music tracks are very different propositions. So they've gone to Vivo to supply some content here. Yeah. I want to look into what the form of the programming is. What's the news on that? I th I, is it all day kind of music video rotated? Is there an element of interactivity? It's on demand. It's all on demand. Yeah, it's all on demand. Well, then yeah. I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's really interesting. I think it's a good thing to do. And I'm, I, I'm enjoying watching Vivo really spread itself around yeah. um, onto different platforms. And it looks uh, lovely. I mean, it's, it's you know, Apple it's a... Uh, easy to navigate it's very apple tv like you know they all look f fairly similar apple tv implementation so the, they must have a fairly strict internal sort of uh, uh, sdk to to develop these apps on apparently it was developed by vivo itself uh, apple didn't have much to do with it uh, and then it was released by apple 